In the Turks and Caicos Islands, rainbow boa, also known as the Turks Island boa, is a subspecies of the southern Bahamas boa and is indigenous to the TCI. This week, a team of researchers from the U.S. are on Ambergris Key continuing their studies on the reptiles, which began in December 2007. They're one of the main predators of the lizards. Um, they're nocturnal. They're completely harmless. They don't bite, as you can see. They're very friendly. And um, here on Ambergris, they're, they're pretty common. University of Tennessee student Graham Reynolds is working with the study project. He talks about what the study entails. So right now we're studying basic biology and ecology, which means we go out, we capture boas, we see what habitats they're using, what they're eating, um, what their temperature preferences are. We're also looking at how they respond to development. Um, we'd like to know basically how humans are impacting these animals. Uh, in addition, we're also looking at the genetics of these animals, which will allow us to do a lot of different things, including um, maybe see which populations should be prioritized for protection. And we can also assess the genetic health of the populations, and we can use the genetics to actually get estimates of population size and um, other things that we're interested in for these animals. Since the BOA study began, some 74 snakes have been captured, tagged with an internal microchip, and released. The idea is to determine the population size of the reptiles and find suitable ways of preserving them. DNA testing is also done. Ambergris Key is said to be where the Turks and Caicos Islands rainbow boa lives in abundance. Dr. Glenn Gerber runs the Caribbean program at the San Diego Zoo Institute for Conservation Research and heads the boa study project on Ambergris Key. It's really about ensuring that these animals are going to be around for future generations of, of Turks and Caicos inhabitants to enjoy. Um, and we're also trying to educate people that, you know, they're harmless snakes, uh, they're not poisonous, they actually play a beneficial role in the environment, and we're just trying to um, understand more about their natural history and ecology and so that we can help uh, developers such as the folks here on Ambergris Key come up with management plans that will guarantee their survival in the future. Just Tuesday evening, a total of 14 boas were captured. Gerber says this is a new record for one night. He says they hope to capture another 60 or more by the end of the week. Tammy Dean, TCI 7 News.